Hi, I'm Lori Marrero, creator of the Clutter Diet book and online program, and today we're going to talk about seven ways to simplify your gift giving at the holidays. The first strategy is to draw names. So if you have a big family, it can be overwhelming to try to buy gifts for everybody. That's mainly what we're going to talk about today. So drawing names is one of the first strategies. Just everybody's responsible for one gift. Really great. And the next strategy is to talk about spending limits, which you can do in combination with drawing names or just all by itself. But just saying, you know, everybody buy gifts, but nobody spend over $10, $15, whatever that is for you. The third strategy is to buy gifts for the kids only. So maybe you've got lots of brothers and sisters, and so there's all these aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews. So if you focus on buying just for the nieces and nephews and forget about buying gifts for the couples and the aunts and uncles, it's much simpler and kids are much easier to buy for. Another strategy is to pitch in together for one large gift for someone special. So one of the things my husband's family has done, they have a family of six children. Um, all of the adult siblings pitched in to buy their parents a dining table set one year. And that was so satisfying. Everybody felt great about this nice thing they were able to buy for their parents and nobody had to worry about gifts for everybody else. The fifth strategy is to have no gifts at all. So maybe you can all agree that you're going to go on a trip together. Maybe you even go on a cruise or something where everyone can relax. Or you all do a service project together as a family. This can be a very satisfying way to give back during holidays. And the sixth strategy is to agree that you're all going to give gifts but they will be small or homemade. So like making something, this is the honey from my backyard, beehives. Um, you can make your own special jelly or apple butter or some kind of loaf of bread or candy and have those homemade gifts be in place of something purchased. And finally, the last and seventh strategy is to give low clutter calorie gifts. What I mean by this is something that doesn't have to take up space in your home. So you could give, of course, gift cards. Everybody knows that. But you can also give a class like a cooking class that you could take together, or you can give a membership to a museum, or make a donation in someone's name. You can have experiences together instead of having more stuff. If you like all of this information, we have so much for you every day on our Twitter feed and on our Facebook page. You can see the links here on the screen. We would love to see you and interact with you there. So check us out at twitter.com slash clutter diet and facebook.com slash clutter diet. See you next time and may you always be happy and grateful for having more than enough.